My name is uh, Steve Tafoya. I've been in the literacy program for a year. Um, I came to the literacy program because I could barely read or write. I just got tired of having people read things to me like my kids, important documents, and depend on other people to. And I wanted to learn how to read a book when my kids were little. And uh, you know, parents all read to their child a kid's book. Well, I, I couldn't ever read, so I would just look at the pictures with them and make up my own story. But then it got to the point when they got older and was able to read, they would say, that's not what it says. So then I had to tell them that your dad doesn't know how to read. I um, decided I was going to join the Army. I was 17 years old. So I went down to the recruiter and took this huge, long test that I, I, did, I just, a lot of them I just guessed the answers. But anyway, the um, recruiter went through and found out I almost got them all wrong. And he asked me, how bad do I want to be in the Army? And I told him, I need it. You know, so he erased almost all my answers, put in the right ones, and gave me a choice of the lowest things you could be in the Army, which I drove in a truck. But anyway, that's how I got into the armed services. And I did 13 years in the armed service, made it to the rank of sergeant without anybody realizing that I couldn't read or write and giving classes in different things that I couldn't read out of the book. So I just kind of, you know, and... Um, was honorably discharged after Desert Storm, and then that brought me to here. Some of the goals that I have met since I met um, my tutor, Anna, one of the ones was getting my driver's license back, which before when I, um, when I was younger and got my driver's license, I had gotten every test there was, memorized the um, answers, and then that's how I passed the test in. But this time, when I took the test, I just read the answers, and I was able to read them to myself. I had to ask the lady at the desk, because I told her I wasn't that good a reader, but I only had to ask her what three words were, because, and I knew the rest of them. And that's, and I passed it the first time. So that's how I got my driver's license back. Oh, I would tell someone that wants to learn to read or write or both better, don't put it off anymore, because I put it off for my whole life and it's like if I would have started 20 years ago I would be like the best reader in the world. My name is Ana Ramirez and I've been with the adult literacy program for about um, a year and a half. Literacy is really important to me because I absolutely love reading and I would read to my sisters all the time. And when, of course, with my grandchildren and with my daughter, um, they became very much involved with reading because I would read to them. So when I found out about the program, I thought what a wonderful opportunity to be able to help somebody learn how to read. My learner is Steve Tafoya, and we've been together for exactly a year. It's been um, a wonderful opportunity to get to know him, to become friends, and to be able to share this experience of learning how to read. And he told me a story about uh, recently when he decided to enroll in college, they did an assessment of him. And he was so excited when he came and told me that after the assessment, he was de it was determined that he was reading at the sixth grade level. And he was so excited and it made me so excited because I thought, oh my gosh, I actually can teach someone how to read. <laughs> if I have any questions, I can always call and I have people that I can talk to. Um, there's the support group of the other tutors that's been really great. Um, and so sharing stories and experiences has been really helpful for me and it's given me the confidence that I can do this. And when I see the results and I can see what Steve has accomplished, then I feel fantastic because I feel like I've accomplished that. Because I could barely read or write. You read a book. And I wanted to learn how to read a book. I wanted to have that experience. It's been an incredible transformation. He told me a story. We would just look at the pictures with him and make up my own story. I absolutely love reading. They would say, that's not what it says. 
I would read to my sisters all the time. I would be like the best reader in the world. To be able to help somebody learn how to read. And I passed it the first time. Oh my gosh, I actually can teach someone how to read. And I can see what Steve has accomplished. Don't put it off anymore. I want to be able to be a writer.